Welcome to the first ever vlog from Narra Boat Farm. In this first episode, we're going to tell you about five fun facts about the farm. I'm hoping you're going to join us throughout the whole of 2019 to follow the trials and tribulations, the ups and downs, and find out what it's like to be involved with a project like Narra Boat Farm. Narrowboat Farm came into existence a couple of years ago and the name refers to the two different aspects of the project. Firstly the narrowboats, the traditional canal boats with us here on the banks of the Union Canal near Linlithgow and then secondly the farm aspect. That's our eco-friendly market garden. So we're going to go into that right now with our five features of Narrowboat Farm. The first feature of Narrowboat Farm is what we refer to as naturally grown goodness. That refers to the produce that comes out of Narrowboat Farm and specifically it refers to the way we grow things here at Narrowboat Farm naturally. So only Mother Nature's finest ingredients go into the produce here at Narrowboat Farm. There's no pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, no artificial fertilizers here and we're going through our organic certification with the Soil Association just to give us a bit of a kite mark to show that uh, it really is only nature's finest that goes into making the most nutritionally healthy and eco-friendly produce here at the farm. The next feature of Narrowboat Farm is what we refer to as a small farm with big ideas and that refers to the fact here in Scotland the average age of a farmer is way past retirement age, it's way over 60 years old. We've joined a bunch of new innovative micro farms that are here to try and prove there's a future for people in food production in Scotland and in farming in Scotland and specifically for a new younger generation to come into farming in Scotland. Next feature about Narrowboat Farm is what we call 200 year old fast food and the 200 year old bit refers to the Union Canal here. They built this canal 200 years ago and when they did that there was a frenzy amongst farmers who really wanted to take advantage of this amazing rapid transport system that they could load their produce onto boats and transport it to local markets at a whopping four miles an hour. Now obviously things have changed slightly but we're going to bring that back alive. We're going to load up our traditional canal boats with produce to take into local markets and this will be the first time in probably 150 years that that's been done. The next feature of Narrowboat Farm to tell you about is what we refer to as having one foot in the past and one in the future. That's how we go about our farming here at Narrowboat Farm, our small scale farming. Now back when farms started getting huge and started getting super efficient, massive farms, they really lost a lot of their habitats, they lost their hedgerows, they lost their birds from the farms and what we're doing with this small field which used to be just like that, it just used to be wheat and nothing else, we're putting in a whole bunch of new hedgerows, we're digging ponds, we're putting in beehives and we're creating a chemical free environment so wildlife can flourish. Our final feature of Narrowboat Farm wanted to tell you about is a plea to slow down and enjoy the good life. And that refers to the social enterprise aspect of the project here at Narrowboat Farm. It refers to the community-owned canal boat moorings that we're setting up on the canal. Narrowboat Farm is a test for this, which is a brand new initiative. It's never really been done before. And what we're trying to prove is if we can create venues along the canals that draw local communities to the canals and also provide exciting places for people who own or enjoy using boats to go to, it'll bring the whole canal alive and it'll make it used a lot better than it is. It's far too quiet at the moment. It's really not taking advantage of the huge potential of this network that runs between Edinburgh and Glasgow. Thanks for watching the first vlog from Narrowboat Farm. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and hopefully you'll subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of the same coming up through 2019. We've got lots of exciting plans. Going to be filling the field full of veggies again. We're going to have some laying hens arriving. We're going to have the boat project up and running. And if you're interested in any of those aspects or perhaps any business tips or that kind of stuff, we're going to be going through all of those different aspects throughout the year here at Narrowboat Farm. So please hit the subscribe button and come and join us for the next vlog episode coming soon. Thank you.